Hey, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> um, we love you. We love you a lot. So just a quick message to say, best of luck. Don't go. <laughs> Don't go. Don't go. Even though Anna here is following you out and that's nearly as equally depressing. It's doubly depressing because it's the second one, but mm. whatever. But um, we love you loads. You're great. I hope you know that. Yeah. You're going to have an amazing time. The best time. <sighs> We're going to miss you lots. <laughs> ah, Sarah, how are you? Sorry, away. So basically, gonna miss you there. You're like my right hand. Come, Nandy. Maybe I'll get the government to you at some stage. Maybe not. Maybe I'll not. Anyway, listen. I wish you all the best. Can't wish you. Better keep in touch. Better than I did when I went away. But yeah, uh, love you lots. I miss you. Hey, Sarah. Oh, I hate all these sort of things. Um, have a great time. <laughs> Have an absolutely amazing time, but you better go back this time next year. Oh, um, it was tough when you lived in England, but it's gonna be a, a lot harder now that you're in Australia. Can't wait to see you in April already. Have a ball though. And come back with a river boy, that's a necessity. Super jealous that you can come back with a river boy. <laughs> um, be safe in your travels and heighten your needs. Thanks for years and years of friendship and many a night snuggled up in this bed when I've been usually gay-eyed and pretending to be your boyfriend that you've just, just randomly taken home that night or when I have been too in such a state that I'm not able to walk, can you take me home? Love you to bits, have a great time, see you soon. Oops, now you got my boobs. I'm being so awkward, I hate doing this. Um, it's a little video to just tell you how much we'll all miss you so much, and I know I'll miss you a ridiculous amount, and I'm fucking terrified you'd be going, but it has to happen. And just to tell you that you're just my best friend, and I don't know what I'm gonna do without you, but there's Skype and there's other stuff to do, and hopefully I'll follow you over, but I hope you have an amazing time. And from the moment I met you five years ago, you've been my best friend, so I don't think you moving countries is going to change anything, so have an amazing time. And I know I'm saying come back, come back, come back, but I know you'll have a great time, and I don't really want you to come back unless you've done everything you want to do, so have a really good time. And I love you loads, and you know to ring me all the time, or I'll fucking kill you, and just, I don't even know what to say. I'm just going to miss you so much, I don't know what to do, but it'll be fine, it'll be fine. For me 24 hours away at the end of the day, isn't that it? So love you loads and have so much fun. And mwah, mwah, mwah. Hi Sarah, how are you? Kind of awkward. Um, just want to wish you a great time on your travels. You're gonna be amazing. Um, might have to join you. We'll see what happens money wise, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, have a great time. I'm gonna miss you loads. Loads. All right. I'll see you later. Bye bye. Hi, Sarah. Um, I just wanted to come up and say my own little message just before you head off. Um, I'm just sitting here in your room and remembering all the times that we <laughs> prepared to head out or to have our nap before we all got key-eyed or the amount of times that you rubbed away my tears probably in this room as well so I just wanted to say thanks and that we'll all be thinking of you when you head off in a couple of days and we'll miss you 
lots and lots as we have done when when you went away to Lutton. And we love you lots and lots and keep in touch. And the famous six will still continue to grow all together and celebrate all the birthdays and the welcome homes together. So I hope that Australia is everything that you wanted it to be. And they'll be home soon to tell us all about your amazing adventures. Love you lots and I'll talk to you soon. How are you Sarah? Um, so you're off now at this stage. I just wanted to wish you well. Um, we're going to miss you, obviously. And um, keep in touch as well as we did in this year. And uh, I'll send you over some runners somewhere through the year without telling you. So look forward to that. I just before I go, um, I want to read something that I read um, before I do something um, big. If it's a, a presentation or a big match or something, I like to read this particular piece. And it gets me sort of, gets my head focused, gets me in the zone. So I just wanted to um, read it for you. And you can use this yourself if you ever come up against big challenges or anything like that. All right. <clears throat> Um, it's titled Anastasia's and Christian's Hot Elevator Makeout Session. Before I know it, he's got both of my hands in his vice-like vice grip above his head, and he's pinning me to the wall using his lips. His other hand grabs my hair and yanks down, bringing my face up. And his lips are on mine. My tongue tentatively strokes his and joins his in a slow erotic dance. His erection against my belly. So you can use that if you want. 